Misha, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I recently went to a Royals game with one of my best friends, and I thought it would be cool to make a vloggy story time video about it. So let's get on the video. So it was a Monday night game, and we decided to leave Monday morning so we'd have a little bit of time in Kansas City to do some shopping before the game started. Once we got to Kansas City, we ate at Panera Bread, and I got macaroni and cheese because Panera's macaroni and cheese is amazing. And then we did some shopping at Legends, and Legends has these really cool statues all over the place, and so we took some pictures with those statues. My favorite one is we're by this Indian and we're like doing the Mockingjay Katniss Everdeen over there. I'll show you that picture. And we also have one of where I'm standing by a turtle and my friend is looking petrified because she doesn't like turtles. She's scared of turtles. After shopping for like an hour or so, we realized that we should probably hit the road because we did not want to get stuck in rush hour traffic. So we went to our hotel, which was conveniently located right across the street from the stadium. It was called the Drury, Dur, Dur, I always have trouble saying the name, it's Drury Inn, but it sounds like I'm saying it wrong, I probably am. Isn't it hard to say? It sounds like dreary, it sounds like it should have like a moat around it and be like some spooky castle on a hill. So after hanging out in the hotel room and eating free popcorn for a while, we decided to head over to the stadium. So we stood in line and waited for a while until they opened the gates and then we got our tickets checked and the guy who was taking our tickets, every time he'd scan one and it would make a little sound, <gasps> that one works! <gasps> that one works too! It's kind of funny, I could tell he really enjoyed his job. Our seats were part of the Diamond Club, and it was sort of hard to find out where the rows and the sections and everything were, so we asked one of the guys who worked there. So the person who helped us find our seats was named Daryl, and Daryl was excited about his job. He was just a cool person, and he looked at our posters and was like, oh, are you guys trying to get on TV or the Jumbotron? And we were like, yeah, that'd be cool. And he told us that if we got on the Jumbotron or got on TV, we were supposed to find him and go, Daryl, we got on TV! So the game was going along like it normally does. Somebody throws a ball, another person hits it with a bat and runs around the bases. But at the bottom of the first inning, we get a text from my friend's little sister telling us that she saw us on TV. And I got really excited, but then I thought to myself, what if that's not me? What if it's somebody that looks exactly like me and it actually isn't me? So my little sister's friend, the she was right, to the little video of us on TV and sent it to us. And it actually was us. We were on national television for two seconds, guys. We were on national television. So there was this vendor who sold these chocolate drizzled strawberries on a stick and he would always go in the aisle right next to ours but never down our aisle and my friend wanted one and so after like the sixth time he went in somebody else's aisle right next to us but didn't go down ours she was like okay i'm going to track down that guy and i am going to get a chocolate covered strawberry on a stick so we tried to find him but we couldn't and so then we went to the diamond club area and tried to find daryl to tell him we were on tv but we couldn't find him so we went back to our seats a little disappointed that we couldn't find the chocolate covered strawberry guy or find daryl to tell him that we were on tv but we decided we'd enjoy the rest of the game we got to see whit merrifield's first major league home run which was cool and we saw hosmer accidentally chuck a baseball bat halfway across the stadium the people in the row behind us were rather interesting characters there was a couple who thought they knew everything about baseball and had a commentary going the entire game and most of it made sense but they used a lot of baseball lingo and one of the things i heard that really confused me was they said they're really squeezing the plate better give them a cookie does anybody know what that means? If you do, please let me know in the comments below because I am still very confused. The two guys who sat directly behind my friend and I like to have debates over food and other random topics. Like, they were debating over whether they wanted ice cream now and nachos later or nachos now and ice cream later. After debating for 15-20 minutes, they decided to just get nachos and ice cream at once. The Royals ended up winning with a score of 2-1, so yay, go Royals! If you want to see more of my videos, click the information button in one of these two corners, and remember to give this video a huge thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button! 